Welcome back. So today we're going to talk about how to get photos from your iPhone to a Windows PC. It's not too hard to do. So let's get started. Okay, so um, unfortunately, I use my iPhone to film myself. <laughs> so uh, I'm not going to be on camera for the rest of this. I'm using my webcam so that I can show you what I'm doing with my iPhone here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this lightning cable that I've got plugged into my computer, USB-A on the other end. I just plug that in and it should open up a, a uh, file explorer window automatically. Okay, so if you've never done this before, this isn't going to pop up automatically on its own. What's going to happen is you're going to get a little window that pops up in the lower right. Let me just move this inset out of the way so I can kind of show you. Okay, so it'll normally appear down here in the lower right corner and it'll ask you what you want to do if you want and then give you some choices. So just select that you want to open uh, Windows Explorer and there should be a checkbox that you can click that will uh, tell it to always do that. So once you do get to this window, then you'll see you've got internal storage. So you just double click on that and then DCIM. And then you look for the newest date here. If, that, if those are the most recent files that you want to pull off, which is what we're going to do in my case. But if you know uh, what uh, time period they were taken in, then you would open up that folder. So we'll open that up. And you can see we've got some little thumbnails here. So now I can just take any one of these files. So let's say we'll take this JPEG and we can just drag it over to where you want it to go. And we can do the same with these uh, movie files here. So we'll copy that one over. And we'll copy this one over. Now don't try and move the file because it'll just throw an error. So just copy the file and then I'll show you momentarily here how you delete those files from your iPhone uh, to make room. And you can't just delete them. You have to do an extra procedure to get them out of your deleted files folder before you'll actually get that space back. Now we can unplug our iPhone. Now, by the way, I'm using an iPhone 14 Pro, but this, I did the exact same thing with my older iPhone 11. So there's no issues with that. Now I could just show you this way, but I'll actually do a screen recording on my phone and that'll be in the video as well. And if you want to know how to do screen recordings, since we're on the subject, you just, from this top right corner, you just kind of drag down a little bit diagonally you get this extra menu and then this little button right here actually begins screen recording once it turns white then it's recording the screen so then we can go into photos and you can go find the ones that you want to get rid of um, let's just take this as an example. So if I delete that, then we pop back out. Now we need to be in our albums and then we we've got to get out of the recents. Okay. So when you get back to this screen here, you just scroll down to the bottom and you see recently deleted. So you go into there, you needed my face ID. So now I can just hit select. 
and then I can just go delete all and go delete photo. Now, once you've done that procedure, you've now got your space cleared up on your iPhone and you can do more filming. So I used to have to do this all the time with my iPhone 11 because it didn't have a lot of capacity. So I hope that was helpful to you. For those of you who are trying to transfer photos to your Mac, uh, I, I suspect you probably don't need any help with that. <laughs> as you can just do that with a with an airdrop and it works pretty much as fast as a lightning cable so if you enjoyed this content today make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss future videos thanks for hanging out with us today we'll see you on the next video bye for now